Okay, well, thank you, everybody. Good morning. Uh, and thanks so much for the invitation to speak uh, with you today at your online mini conference. I really enjoyed meeting a lot of you in Kelowna. I think it was about 15 months ago. Time flies. Anything pre COVID feels like a, a long time ago. Um, but it gave me such an appreciation for the really important work that CPF is doing as an organization and US dedicated parents uh, are doing to advance the cause of, of bilingualism in, in BC schools. Um, as you can probably tell uh, from my accent, I didn't grow up in Canada. I uh, grew up in Wales in the UK. Um, and I just wanted to share quickly before jumping in a bit of how I'm sharing personally with, with the work, how I'm connecting personally with the work that, that you're doing. So uh, I grew up speaking Welsh to my mum and Italian to my dad. Uh, and growing up in Wales, Wales actually only became an official language in the 1990s. Uh, which was a really long fight from about six, only like 70, 80 years ago, where if you were caught speaking Welsh in a, in a classroom, you'd, you'd have to wear this hideous kind of wooden thing around your neck um, just to say like, oh, bad, bad for speaking your mother tongue, or oh, bad for speaking kind of like one of the, one of the languages of, of your country. So um, I went to a Welsh speaking school, elementary and high school, uh, and actually only later learned that 85% of the students there had no Welsh at home. So I didn't actually think of it as a Welsh immersion school at the time, uh, but the experience uh, at the CPF conference uh, in Kelowna, yeah, really made me realize like the huge value of the opportunity that my fellow students had. Um, to be able to attend the school and, and, and learn in, in a different language. So again, huge respect for, for what you're all doing. Okay, so uh, I've got about half an hour and um, I wanted to introduce a little bit about our organization, uh, a little bit about the, the, the programs that we have uh, and specifically about a new program in French. Um, when I presented in Kelowna, it was, it was to be developed and now it's been developed and it's been launched and it's been it's ready, ready, ready for uh, elementary kids to, to enjoy um, in, in French immersion and Francophone schools. So um, I wanna share a bit more about the, the French program specifically and how you can bring this uh, program uh, into, in, into the schools that you're connected to. So I'm gonna try and share my screen here. I've got a little PowerPoint. Okay. So, um, yeah, I wanted to give you an introduction to uh, DreamRider, an overview of the program, an overview of the French program, and how you can bring it to your school. And uh, it's great that we actually have funding this year uh, from, from the, 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 the BC Ministry, uh, the Francophone Affairs Program, uh, so it's fully funded. Uh, so I'm really excited to, to share a bit more about how you can take advantage of that, and then we'll do any questions at the end. Okay, so the... Um, the Dream Rider, we're a registered charity. We were founded in 1998 as a project of the city of Vancouver. And we later became independent. And our vision uh, is to shift the culture of Canada, really one that's focused on kindness and interconnectedness with each other, but also to, to, uh, to, to the planet uh, and the, the natural world. And we, we, we inspire that interconnectedness in a way that inspires kids to be change makers for life. So, so not only are they um, excited about the natural world, but they're, they're, they're making a change and they're leading change in their families and their communities. So in terms of uh, our organizational impact, we, we've been going, yeah, almost uh, just over 20 years. Uh, and through our various programs, we have a, a theater-based program in the Lower Mainland. And that's, that so far is, is English language, but then we have a digital program uh, of which the, the, French, the French program is, is part of, uh, that we've been able to, to scale uh, across Canada uh, and, and elsewhere. Um, and this spring, we, we actually did a, a live broadcast version, uh, which has, had kids tuning in from, from lots of different places, which was really exciting. Okay, so um, I have a, a short video that I'd like to share um, that just gives a little bit of introduction from our founder, Vanessa. Uh, so she's an Ashoka Fellow, uh, Ashoka Canada. It's a network of uh, change makers, and to really try and uh, really shares more about our philosophy and how we try and bring that into the the, the programs. I'm going to try and share screen here. Okay. So let me know in the chat if uh, 
yeah, if you, if you can't hear it, I'm going to play it now. I was living on the west coast of Canada in Tofino, and my rainforest backyard was clear cut by my landlady. And as I watched the stumps burn, I realized that this was happening all over, and it inspired me to become an environmentalist for life. I serve elementary school children and teachers and their families. Our program is a solution to the question, how do you shift a culture's values to a new paradigm of interconnectedness? It's a solution to the question of how do you grow a new generation that is going to believe so deeply in environmental issues that they're just going to live them and they're going to change everybody around them. And the Planet Protector Academy that we created is our answer to that. It's a way of creating a transformational space inside a classroom that encourages and trains kids, as we say, to be environmental superheroes out in the world. I started as a theater performer and artist and creator. And my sweet spot, as well as my husband who writes with me, is young children. And there's something about being able to speak their language and know what they find fun and understanding what makes kids tick and how to design experiences that will make them come alive that keeps me working with them. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, we, we, our programs are, are based on the fundamental belief that we all have a superhero power, uh, even if we, some of us don't know what it is yet. Um, so mine is as a kind of a translator, not, not only like love of languages, but also within Dreamwriter. Uh, Vanessa's the artistic uh, founder and it's like artistic vision for, for our work. And I'm, I kind of translate it into, into action uh, so that to, to, to make things happen. So I'm, uh, I'm really curious what your superhero powers are. And I'd love for you to share in your chat uh, what those might be. It could be really anything. It could be like being kind, baking amazing bread, juggling the impossible as a parent, uh, anything, anything that comes to mind in terms of uh, your superhero power. I just want you to kind of connect with that today. Feel free to share that in the chat. Great, we've got patience. <laughs> much needed in today's world. <laughs> Lucky cat. <laughs> nice, Jody. People might start coming to you, Jody, <laughs> looking for help on things. <laughs> and Sharon's multitasking, yeah. Awesome. Oh, chocolate tasting. <laughs> <laughs> cool great well thanks thanks so much for sharing yeah keep keep sharing those um but yeah just lovely to get a feeling of, of who's in the room and some of the your different passions and uh talents uh it's it's much appreciated yeah exactly I'm very multi-talented <laughs> Okay, so I'm uh, gonna jump into the next section now. So just gonna give you a little bit more information about the Planet Protector Academy program. So I, I wanna give you the, a bit of an overview in general, um, and then I'm gonna show you a, a video from one, of, from, from one of the programs. The video will be in English. It'll just give you a bit more sense of kind of how the program works. And then when we move on to the French version, I'll also show you a quick video of the, of the program in, in French. Okay, so let me see if I can share my screen here. Um, so, okay, so the Planet Protect Academy, it's a, it's a suite of programs. So uh, we actually have four programs and they, as you kind of gathered from the video, they're, they're redesigned to inspire kids to take action on different environmental issues. So each of the, each of the programs are four to six hours long, like one hour a week, um, and they're aimed at grades three to six. 
Uh, and so all, all four programs are available as both classroom versions, which are led by a teacher, um, or as a live webcast version, which is a, what we kind of adapted to during COVID as an after school offering, um, where we stream directly to kids at home. Uh, but I'll focus on the classroom version uh, just because that's that's the the, the new French version is, um, is 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 the classroom version uh, of the water program specifically. So in terms of what do what what do our general programs have in in as part of the the approach? They they contain three kind of key ingredients. So the first one is storylines and superheroes. So we have a, a Esmeralda Planet Protector is our main superhero protagonist. A very deliberate and choice to, to have a female protagonist um, and, and a female role model to the to, to kids participating in the program. And so Esmeralda and her sidekick Gooba, they uh, they they guide the class through through the program. And so the kids feel like they're part of the story. So it's kind of like watching TV, but part part of a story. Um, you, you're part of that story. So the kids get ID badges, they go home on superhero missions, and they have a, a mission book where they record their their, their their successes and their learnings um, and so it's it's yeah it's it's, it's learning that's part, that's part of a storyline that they're active participants in that story uh, especially as part of their at-home missions the second ingredient is arts-based activities so uh, these these pictures were taken pre-covid uh, but a lot of the activities are st still remain the same so the, the kids learn about different different um, the, the, the themes in each program, they learn through very arts-based uh, and interactive group-based uh, approaches. So they'll write a rap um, about protecting water. They'll, there's a game show where they get to come and answer get, uh, questions. As a, let's use that as a way to introduce some of the, the key concepts for, for, for each, each particular module. They'll, they'll do group drawing activities. Um, they'll do group brainstorms and and like problem solving so really trying to have them express their learning as, as interactively as possible and it really helps them get like fired up um, uh, as part of, of the program and then the third element is gamification so we've gamified uh, the whole experience so the kids are in teams they gain points for participation that's the most important part they get uh, they get teamwork points they get points for, for being kind to each other and, and to other teams. And the teacher has a lot of flexibility as to the, the way that the points are, are awarded, but we do have, we do give some, some suggestions there. And um, so as well as the three ingredients, we realized um, there were some nice surprises uh, that, that we weren't expecting uh, in, in terms of the, this, this uh, like hands-on experiential approach aligns really well the new BC curriculum. Also, teachers have told us that it increases their own uh, professional development in areas of uh, like sustainability uh, and also like using new tools and approaches. And we've seen a lot of classrooms use the program and then go on to, to, to do other projects uh, based off of kind of the, uh, the initial program, um, which, is, which has been really exciting, especially now with the, the, the curriculum uh, being so inquiry inquiry focused okay so what i'm gonna do now um i'm just gonna i'm just gonna share my screen just to sh just to show you a video of of um uh, from one of the from, from the program the the, the 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 water program uh but the english version just to give you a sense of how our characters talk to to the kids so each hour of lessons usually has about 10 to 12 minutes of video and then the rest is all happening offline in the class, in the groups. Um, uh, and so, yeah, the, 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 the video is projected at the front of the class. And so it's not kind of each kid with, a, with an iPad. It's, a, it's very much a group classroom experience. So this is, this is the first video uh, that the kids will see um, as part of, their, um, as part of their, the first module in the water program. And it just gives a really good kind of overview of, of how it works. So again, let me know in chat if uh, if the technology doesn't work out. Welcome to the Planet Protector Academy. I'm Sarah. And I'm Ian. You are all now real life apprentice planet protectors. Woohoo! Woo! 
Hey, Sarah, what's the Planet Protector Academy? The Planet Protector Academy is training to become superheroes of environmental protection. This week, you are going to embark on a oh. program of... Just yeah, yeah, yeah. hold on, Sarah. Just sit before you go any further, okay? Every time we do these introductions, you just jump right in, you do the whole introduction, you don't give me a turn. That's because every time you do the introductions, Ian, you mess it up. Not every time. Every time. Okay. I have been rehearsing. In secret. I even wrote everything down. Yeah, cheat notes if I ever get confused. Just... Okay, okay, fine. As long as you practiced and you wrote it down. Yes. Okay. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, the Planet Protector Academy presents a brand new topic all about bread, cheese, milk, broccoli, <laughs> peanut butter, and... <laughs> what? I just, no, no, I just, I just the wrong one. I just, uh, I just, yeah, there we go. Today's topic is all about frogs. Frogs. No, oh, no, I remember now. I put a what frog in my pocket to remind me. What is something that we all need? Something we all need. Something that we can't do without. Can't do without. Something, something that is part of our everyday lives. Mom! Yes, but no. Pizza! Oh, no! <laughs> Video games! No, Ian! What do frogs think Dead flies. <laughs> That's right! The topic of this Planet Protector Academy is H2O. And of course, H2O is the chemical formula for water! Water, 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 your teacher should divide you into four teams. Yes, each team is represented by one element. Earth, air, fire, and water. Now, come up with a name. Oh, I'm gonna be Incredible Man. Oh no, sorry, a, a name for your team. Oh, okay, Incredible Man and his team. No, Ian, uh, a name for your team. Like, if you're on the Earth team, you might be called the Boulders, or if you're on the Water team, you might be called the Tsunami. Oh, after the element. Okay, yeah, I get right. it, I get okay. it. Incredible Man and the Boulders. No, Ian, just Boulders. Once you've come up with the team name, then your teacher will enter the name onto the scoreboard. Yes, you will find the scoreboard on the next slide. Just click the little arrow thing over there, just there, and we'll yeah. just we'll just slide off. I should have clicked by now. Okay, so hopefully you got a bit of a sense of, of how it is. So that's a bit of a uh, on the longer end of the video, just because it's it's the first introductory one. Um, but yeah, basically through um, through the, the 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 videos and the on-screen prompts, um, yeah, the the kids do, do like go through the activities, and it basically holds the teacher's hand uh, through through the whole experience because it's all pre-planned. So, um, actually, before I go on to the next section, I just wanted to get a quick quick poll in the chat. Who who of you have done any projects fit, like focused on the environment, either with your kids or with the schools? That either that being through CPF or or not, just, just to get a sense of um, kind of what you've been up to so far. And I'm hoping that today's opportunity is something that you can either, if you haven't done much around the environment, that it's something that is very accessible uh, and something easy for you to share with, with your school. And then if it is something that, if you've already been doing quite a bit, then it hopefully will complement a lot of the, the work that you're already doing. Okay, so Devon's at included oh, okay great and, and Devin we may have met in in Kelowna it, it sounds familiar that <laughs> you might have seen our show so yeah as well as the theater shows we have a we have the classroom program so the the classroom program uh, will go in in a bit more depth oh okay okay <laughs> great um so yeah we our, our theater shows have been mainly in the low mainland we, we do about 150 to 200 a year um particularly in Vancouver the city of Vancouver has been funding it quite a bit um okay great so a few of you a few of you have seen uh, seen the show so hopefully the uh, whether you're a classroom teacher or not um this will be an opportunity to kind of extend that learning or or introduce some of this uh, some of this some of these themes into 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 learning in in french so without further ado uh, let me just move to Sharing my screen again. Sorry, there's a lot of back and forth here. Uh, 
Okay, so just a, a quick a quick recap. Um, so we 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 secured funding from the the BC government, the, the Francophone Affairs Program, to develop a French version of our water program, uh, which became H de O. Um, and we worked with a dubbing production company in, in Montreal, um, as well as a bilingual curriculum consultants to draw up the curriculum links and translate all of the written material and all the on-screen uh, material. So we're really excited because we, we've been trying to look for funding for about three or four years because we were getting a lot of demand uh, from, from French immersion and Francophone schools, but particularly French immersion. Um, to the point where a lot of a lot of teachers are actually using our English pro programs, watching the videos in English, but then doing all of the activities um, because of the, the, they were so interactive. All of the activities in French, so we're really thrilled to finally have a have a fully French uh, version of of one of our programs, with with the hope of uh, extending that to the other three programs in the suite um, over the coming years, as as funding permits. Um, so as well as funding the development of the H H2O, we also uh, have, have gotten funding to, to be able to uh, fund delivery of the program and offer it to schools across BC this school year. So um, we're really, really excited. Uh, and so really, really, uh, yeah, really appreciate this opportunity to share the, this with you, uh, given the, the connections that you have with a lot of a lot of schools and we're working with the the, the ministry as well um, to, to share it with uh, with French immersion schools across the province so um, I wanted to just to share a quick video in French um, just to give you a little bit of a flavor um, and so so this is this is the the the, 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 the student facing um website and so there's a bunch of support materials and, uh, and, and prep materials for the, the the teacher but that's kind of in another screen so this is what the what would be projected at the front of the class uh, for the kids to see and so um there's there's the the scoreboard um once they've added their team names the, the teacher will be able to add scores in here and the i'll just give you the, the the, the overview of the program. So there are, there are four modules. Uh, so the first one is can, is around the, the concept of one water, so that, that we're all interconnected, and and that we yeah the water is is part of us and part of nature and part of life. The the second module is around saving water and and what like water water conservation actions. The third one is the need to protect water and make sure we don't pollute water. And the fourth module is is about connecting to our locality uh, and the the water uh, the watershed where we live. So we're we're now in the third module. I just wanted to show you just a couple of screens and a, a short video just to give you a flavour of, of what's that like. So uh, it's a very simple kind of click next for the the teacher. Um, so this is niveau trois, and then. There, there is a, 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 we unfortunately didn't quite have enough funding to translate the song. Um, so there's a little snippet of, of, of the song that we ended up performing in English just for, for those like few, few seconds, but otherwise the rest of the videos are all in French. So um, in this video, they are starting the third module and also preparing the, um, the, they're asking the kids to report back on their mission from the previous week. So just to give you a sense of oh, what it's like. D'accord, les gardiens de la planète. Environ Yann vient sauver la planète. Toi, ne gaspille pas l'eau. Et un point pour moi. Toi, ne gaspille pas l'eau. Un autre point pour moi. Toi, ne gaspille pas l'eau. Un point de plus pour moi. Toi, ne gaspille pas l'eau. Encore un point pour moi. Yann. Environ Yann. Environ Yann. Sarah, ne gaspille pas l'eau. Un point pour moi. Euh, environ Yann, arrête tout. Oh non, Sarah, il y a encore trop de gens qui gaspillent l'eau. L'eau est un bien précieux. Tous les êtres humains sur Terre en ont besoin. Oui, mais un vrai gardien de la planète n'est pas là pour donner des ordres. Ah non Non, et il ne va pas sur les médias sociaux juste pour s'afficher. Ah non Non, l'idée c'est que tout le monde travaille ensemble pour protéger la planète. C'est une question d'entraide, alors être gentil c'est très important. Ah oui Oui, être gentil envers les autres, être gentil envers la planète. Travailler ensemble du bel endroit où on vit. Ok. Et ok, d'ordre à personne. Mm -hmm. Attends une minute. 
toi, tu m'en donnes toujours des ordres. Oui, c'est parce que t'es immature et que j'ai toujours raison. Ah ouais, dur de dire le contraire. I'm just uh, conscious of time. I just realized we're coming up to quarter past. So I just wanted to, to I'll just cut that video short, just to show you a couple, a uh, couple more screens of, of how it looks like. So these are an example of some of the on-screen prompts that help the, 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 the teacher and the kids through the experience. So they, they are reporting back their, their mission and back to HQ. Um, and then in the, in the next slide, they, with a show of hands, they, they share their impact. Um, about like the impact that they're having at home. Okay, so how can you bring this to your school and your district? Uh, it's really, really easy. I'll, I'll work with Rowan uh, and I'll also put my email address in the chat if you wanna uh, connect with me directly. But basically we would give you a, um, uh, like a promotional blurb that will guide the, the teacher to a, a promotional website. Um, and so that'll have all of the information that the, the teacher needs to be able to uh, kind of learn about the program and see how, see how it fits in, see what it is, see how it aligns with the, the curriculum, um, see how it supports 21st century learning, like an, an example module, and, and then a bit more detail about each module uh, and what it includes. And so all of this information, um, is, is then from here, the teacher then signs up and has access to, to all of the, the materials. And so in terms of your role introducing it, uh, it's really just as that kind of initial information sharing at the beginning. Uh, and then we would take care once, once they sign up, we're then in touch if they have any content or technical questions, uh, we're, we're able to take it from there. Uh, so yeah, just, uh, just signing up from, from this page. Okay, um, I've got a couple of minutes, one, one minute left. I just wonder if you, anyone had any questions uh, or anything else to share um, before I let you move on to the next section. Oh, sure, I'll do that. So this link is kind of, is specifically aimed at teachers. Yeah, so from here, the teacher would, would uh, click the link and then be able to create an account and, uh, and, and they'd get access from there. I have a question. Go for it. So thank you for a very interesting presentation. It was fun to watch. Uh, so do I understand it right that you created the program and you said it's one week lens and the teacher implements it in class, right? Using the new materials, right? Yeah, so it's it's the, the French version of the of the water program. It's, it's, it's four modules, one hour uh, of each module. So it'll be a four week program, one hour a week. And then yes, the teacher signs up for access and then they project the website at the front of the class and that guides the, the class through, through those modules and through that experience. So all these materials is like ready to go. So teachers don't really need to spend lots of time. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's it's good. why we ended up just going for a video kind of led, um, yeah, a video led approach that, that speaks to the kids directly. So it's really kind of holding the hand of the teacher and it's all pre-prepared. And it is free this year, yes. Okay. So and you do I get did I get it right? So it's free this year while it's COVID or uh, it's actually the, the funding that we have from the BC ministry. Um and so yeah, as part of developing the French version, they also funded us to do, to offer it across the, the province to schools that are interested. Okay. Yeah, well, that's great. Yeah, yeah, thank you. We'll try to promote it. <laughs> great. So uh, what about this promotion material? So we just send the link to the program and saying it's free this year? Yeah, you can either send the link or I, I'll, I'll, I'll work with Ron to, to share a bit more of a blurb so that it's kind of a, an email that you can then share uh, directly with the teacher. I'll have a little bit more context as well as that link, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and then I see a couple of questions in the chat. Uh, thank you, Dana, for that question. Uh, the funding is is for this school year right now. Yes, although that that may be extended. Um, yeah, depending on other funding that that we manage to get. And then uh, in terms of how we pitch it to the schools, yeah, usually um, we the, the two main bits of feedback that we get are that it's easy to use and that the, the students are really really engaged. So, um, and the third one. Uh, 
is is that it saves time because it's all pre-planned. So we will in the blurb that we'll send to Rao and it'll kind of highlight that and that'll be hopefully something that that will support your conversation with the schools. Okay, thanks so much, Sean. Great, thanks again for the opportunity and, and for all the work that you're doing to advance bilingual education. That's, yeah, I'm really personally connected to it. So uh, yeah, lots of respect for the work that you're doing. Yeah, and thank you as well. I'm excited for more schools to get the French program. I know it's been in the works for a while. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> <It has. laughs> it's exciting that it's released now and I'm glad that it's available for for with the funding as well that's really nice and we'll make sure to send out more information about it we'll probably include it in our next few uh email newsletters etc chance is giving me a thumbs up cool. um so jensen what is next on the schedule maybe i'll we've got a 15 minute health break now if no one has any more questions for sean uh of course if you do have more questions for sean sean put uh, his email in the chat and we'll be sure to link to Planet Protectors and Sean's contact information in our summary, um, conference summary email coming out next week um, so that you can follow up if you'd like to as well. Uh, Sean just said in the chat, we'll be around for our break here. Um, so feel free to stick around and chat. Uh, go grab a bite to eat, refill your coffees. We'll come back at um, 11.30 for a pres presentation that actually ties in well to John's earlier um, about connecting with local media and getting your message out there. So yeah, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thanks so much, John. Sean, uh, now that one module has been translated, is there hope for more? Yeah, yeah, we have a we have a federal grant uh, pending decision to to translate the climate program, uh, keep cool, and then yeah, we ha yeah, so there's still three three more programs. Um, they because of the video, e even though it's dubbed e because of video, there's it, it is a fairly like significant investment. Um, so that's kind of a bit of a barrier, but once it's done, it's it's. Yeah, it's it's really full on and uh, engaging. So yeah, we we just got to learn to be patient. As someone someone had a superhero power of being patient, <laughs> we just need to learn to, to to keep doing that. And then yeah, if if um if there's any challenges with with uh, getting the program into um into the schools like the French version, that just a, I, I'm just having a quick back and forth with Jody. Um, if if you 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 would still in addition to the French version at schools we we are we are offering all four programs as a home version in English but uh, as an after school offering uh, from four thirty to to five thirty um, uh, like a, a daily starting in a couple of weeks so I'm just going to add the link to that as well and that that's something that yeah just as an as an extra offer kind of outside of of the CPF work but something you parents hopefully you'll, you'll, uh, you'll you can still benefit from so i'm just gonna um, just add that into the chat and feel free to share this also we, we have funding province-wide for the the home versions um so feel free to share that far and wide yeah, Jensen, let's add that to our resources page as well. Awesome. And hopefully in the not too distant future, we'll have French actors and we'll be able to do French live versions of that as well. <laughs>